you know, throughout the campaign, we raised uh, concerns about the role of the DNC in sort of tipping the scales for Hillary Clinton's campaign. And, I, you know, I think this just validates what many of us already, already knew about what was happening. Certainly, we did not know there was a formal agreement for this to be going on. But, you, you know, we saw throughout the campaign, whether it was the debate well, schedule. The joint the, fundraising agreement. The joint fundraising about. agreement. But you yeah. had one. Yeah, well, we had a joint You just chose not to use it. Well, we didn't use it because we didn't have donors who were going to give $365,000 to the Democratic Party. In that regard, you know, this money was that Hillary Clinton was raising was supposed to go largely to state parties and to the Democratic Party and then never ended up there. I mean, I think there's reporting that 1% of the money ended up with state parties. Bernie Sanders, on the other hand, raised $5 million that went right to down ballot Democrats at state, local, and federal level. So uh, he was, in fact, helping Democrats up and down the ballot, but not funneling in through a DNC organization that was then giving the money to the Clinton campaign. So what is your reaction then when you're reading, which as Don Eversall writes, that, that this, this uh, agreement specified that in exchange for raising money and investing in the DNC, Hillary Clinton would control the party's finances, strategy, and all the money raised. Right. Well, look, uh, it's obviously maddening. Uh, I think for me and for millions of other people who engaged in the political process, we thought it was a fair process or supposed to be a fair process. And what we've got to do now, there is a, a unity reform commission that was created at the convention. It is a, has members who are appointed by Bernie, by Hillary Clinton, and some by Tom Perez, the DNC chair. Uh, their meeting, our final meeting, is at the beginning of December. We're going to vote on a number of reform proposals. And now is the time so for Tom Perez and the DNC to state without reservation that they're going to support the outcome of this commission and they're going to push the DNC to pass it in the spring and we're going to get changes so that this never happens again. Is Tom Perez in trouble? I, I, I don't know. We'll see what side. You know, Tom Perez uh, obviously was not there when this was going on at the DNC, uh, but there are going to be a series of reforms. Uh, and if Tom Perez steps up and pushes those reforms and advocates for them, both privately and publicly during this process, I think a lot of people will have renewed confidence in Tom Perez. If he doesn't, I, I, I think that's a, a terrible statement. I think Yamiche wants to jump in. Yeah, sure. My question for you, as someone who covered the campaign, <laughs> one, do you think that you would have won if this wasn't set up? And two, is Bernie Sanders now at some point thinking of becoming a Democrat? Well, okay. So let's start with uh, number one. It is impossible, I think, to know what the out how the outcome would have been different if it had not been tipped. If we would have had debates earlier, if we would have had more debates in more places, at times when people were actually going to watch them, uh, if Hillary Clinton had not benefited from these financial arrangements which moved money into her campaign that she would not otherwise have been able to get. But what does your gut tell you? Uh, I, I think in many states the outcome would have been different. What was the final math? So, I will tell you this. If Bernie so do Sanders, you think he would have won? If Bernie Sanders had won the Democratic nomination, he would be in the White House right now, and Donald Trump would not. And does he does he plan on being Democrat? Because there are a lot of Democrats that I talked to who said, well, it's the Democratic Party. Bernie never joined the Democratic Party. So it's not surprising that the Democratic Party would also favor Hillary Clinton because she was a Democrat. It, does the president, yeah, does Bernie at, at some point want it, to be a Democrat? Yeah, Mish, at that point in the campaign, Joe Biden was still thinking about getting into the campaign. Mm -hmm. If it hadn't been for the tragic loss of his son, he, but I guess, did no, Joe I, I Biden have to run saying, against the DNC? But my question is, what, do you think did, he would ever become a Democrat? Uh, Bernie Sanders is in the Democratic leadership in the Senate. He is uh, the endorsed candidate of the Vermont Democratic Party. He's raising millions of dollars. But he's not going to be a candidate. Democrat. Nobody in Vermont is a registered Democrat. We don't have party registration. Does Bernie deserve an apology? Bernie Sanders deserve an apology? No. From who, Hillary Clinton, from Debbie Wasserman Schultz? No. I, look, I think the DNC should apologize to the millions and millions of people who put their heart and souls into the campaign on both sides, frankly. There are many people out there who campaigned for Hillary believing it was a fair process. Uh, it was not a fair process. Uh, and those people are the people that the Democratic Party has to reestablish faith with, are the people, the rank and file of this party, allied independents, uh, and other people. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.